Hello and welcome to another day in my garden and another five minutes with ADHD or autism. Actually today it is, uh, I will especially talk about ADD, that quiet girl or that quiet boy who's, um, who's sitting and making no noises, paying no attention uh, to himself or herself, um, but inside it is a mess. Inside it is a mess with headache, pain in the stomach, pain in the body, this feeling of being so wrong, uh, this feeling of being unliked, unaccepted um, in the family, in the classroom, with the friends, this massive feeling of being not right. We don't, we often don't find them in Denmark, unfortunately. I hope we will be better and better because if they don't make noise in the school or they don't hurt anybody, um, and they are clever doing their homework and all that stuff. Then, and they do not pay attention to themselves at all in no way. Then it, they are very difficult to find. But but my experience is that we find them when they are about 14, 17 years old, because then it, they can't hide it anymore. Maybe they start cutting themselves. Maybe they start um, uh, giving themselves uh, diseases by. Uh, uh, not eating or bulimi, bulimi, I don't know what it's called in English. Bulimi, it's called in Danish when when they eat or throw up. Um, and uh, then we then we find them, but then they are in a big mess uh, with the feelings and with the bo- with the body and with the family and with themselves. Um, my hope is uh, with these five minutes to to make everybody pay attention to that quiet girl and quiet boy. Because inside, they have exactly the same frustration as if they had ADHD or autism. They, they have the same stress, they have the same frustrations, the same uh, thoughts about being wrong. But they, they are using all their body power to keep it inside. No one may ever know. It's a deep secret. And it is... Uh, our body is made that way that if we keep our feelings inside, it will come out in the body. So they are getting sick. They are getting uh, pain in the body, physically pain. It's not just something they make up. It's for real because their body is saying, help me, because their mouth won't allow for help to come. <sighs> in the classroom, I'm... Uh, because I'm a teacher, I, I, I pay attention to those girls and boys. It's often girls, actually. Um, it's my experience. You can have another experience, but often girls um, who, who never put up a finger, who always say yes when you ask them for something, never say uh, anything rude. Um, they very often feel that they, the, the class don't like them, that they, are, uh, that they keep them on a distance, uh, and uh, probably it is right, because if you don't put a word to your feelings, then it is difficult to be your friend. If, I, if I'm your friend and I'm saying, oh, I, I'm having such a bad day and today, I'm so stressed, and you say, mm-hmm, and never open yourself up, never tell me that you can have the same way, then I will put a distance to you, because I think she don't understand me. She don't want to talk to me. She never tells me anything. So, actually, it's right, but it's not because they don't want this girl or this boy with ADD. It's because they don't understand them. Because they feel this, stay away. I I need this space to be, to have my privacy. So please stay away. And people react, respond to that by staying away. Not that they don't like the person, but they don't understand each other. And that makes a, a distance between them. And you had to see this as a teacher, and you had to see this as a, as a mother or daddy or grandpa or neighbor or girlfriend or whatever you are. Because these, these persons need help, just as the person with ADHD or autism needs help. Um, the help could be a, a structure that you know exactly what to, da- what to do and what, when you will be asked about something. So you can be safe in it. Many of these uh, girls or boys are just called introvert per- persons, um, but there is more to it than that. But it helps them if you treat them like they are an introvert person, 
So give them time, give them a warning before you say, what do you say in front of the class? Tell her or tell him, in five minutes, I'll ask you what you have to say about this topic we are, we are up to in the classroom. Give, the, give them a warning, put structure on the, on your, in your class or in your family. It helps them so much. And the last thing, give them opportunity again and again to put a little word on, word on how they are feeling. Because they need it to be said out loud. Hello from me.